No, good, good job. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> Yo, using the sun to dry your clothes is a lot faster than just letting it air dry inside. Hopefully I'm not making the colors. What is the word? Oh, hopefully I'm not fading them by using the sun. Seems good. Okay, due to popular demand, I'm gonna show you what I'm packing for our upcoming trip to Shenandoah. First up, Kelty Red Cloud 90 liters. Sierra Designs Electron Tent. Mountain Hardware Switch 5 5 degree sleeping bag. Rain cover for my backpack. This is actually from my old rucksack. Three liter platypus. Waterproof bag used for trash. Headlamp, knife. Rain coat, thermal underwear, regular underwear, extra socks, pair of shorts. Small towel, cup. Fork and a spoon, coffee, sauerkraut, jerky, rice, boots. Next up, uh, actually, I'll weigh this real quick. Let's see how much this weighs. 160 pounds, no pack. 192 pounds with a pack. That means this pack is 32 pounds with water. I don't know if that's good or not. Next up, camera equipment. First up, extra batteries. Blue pouch for fresh batteries, red pouch for dead batteries. Double A batteries and extra memory cards. Sony A6300 camera with 16 to 50 millimeter lens. Rode VideoMic Pro with fuzzy windscreen. Rode Link wireless microphone system. Smartphone wired lavalier microphone. This is a backup. Sony 55 millimeter f1.8 lens with lens pouch. DJI Phantom 3 4K quadcopter with rotors. Phantom 3 remote controller. Plastic bags in case it rains. And one more last minute addition that I was hoping would get here in time. The Sony FE 24 to 240 millimeter lens, which will allow us to get shots like this. Combine that with a wireless mic, and we're golden. Right now, I'm wearing a wireless mic, so you can still hear me doing the telephoto lens. So lenses, have millimeters and the more millimeters the farther it can zoom in so this is a 240 millimeter lens and we're gonna test out the range of this wireless microphone okay now I don't know if you'll be able to hear me or not because it's wireless how's it going and there might be a lot of wind noise but we shall see headed to Brian and Andrew's house first. And we are actually going to record a podcast tonight so that we can stay on the bi-weekly schedule. But as always, it's a three hour drive to Columbus. Oh crap, it's 5.20. Terrible, terrible time to leave. What was I thinking? Look at all this traffic. What was I thinking? Crap. Oh, why did I choose to leave right now? What a fool I am. So there's two books about 10,000 hours of practice, how all the great masters have done 10,000 hours of deliberate practice to become experts at what they are. And I was thinking about basketball, and I was thinking about how close I got to the 10,000 hour mark, and I think I maybe made it close to 6,000 hours, because I used to play all the time, and I know I never made it to the 10,000 hours. But if you think about how much time 10,000 hours is, it's like three hours a day for 10 years. So when you look at expertise through that lens of just sheer raw numbers of practice hours, it's no wonder that the people who are experts are experts. They've been practicing 
more than you've like slept in your life. So I still had another 4,000 hours to go to become an expert. And we're not even talking about like the best of the best. We're talking about just somebody who can play at it like NBA level. And that's not even including like the physical raw strength and height that I lacked, which I did lack. <laughs> but man, I wonder how much I've edited videos. You know, I'm guessing it might be around the 5,000 mark also. I wonder how many hours I've spent now. Blueberries, strawberries, apples, and bananas. So the only flaw I see with your plan is how will making fruit salad keep it from going bad? I'll eat it. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that I was gonna go to Dick's and see if I could get a better compression sack for my sleeping bag. Stuff sack was $30, which is way too much. But check this out. Okay, I just wanted to make this quick stop because I don't know what's going on here, but it looks kind of cool. It's like a bar and a volleyball thing. Flanagan's Co-Rec Fun Volleyball League, sign up today. So this is from Meredith McLaughlin who is probably viewing this right now. Mm -hmm. So this is fruit that they are actually dried themselves. Oh. This is vegan jerky. Yeah. Mm. Snack olives, which I've never heard of before. I mean yeah. Various kinds of bars, mm -hmm. campfire cooking type stuff. Oh, yeah. Chickpeas, lentil, and rice. It's <laughs> a lot of stuff. We're gonna bring a few of them on this trip. And, uh... um, so we finished the podcast. <laughs> that will be uploading. It'll probably be uploaded by the time we get back. <laughs> We are all packed up now. I think we're all packed up. My pack weighs 200 pounds for some reason. <laughs> You're bringing like 15 packs of coffee. I'm debating on whether I'm going to edit the vlog tonight, but thank you for watching. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. We're going to be back on Sunday night, so we'll see you then. Yo, yo, terrible news, terrible news. That's terrible news. What's happening? I mean, we're gonna go regardless, but why? Oh, that's crunchy. That's crunchy.